Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about variables in Jekyll. Variables are basically just var values that are stored on our page that we can access inside of our Jekyll templates. So over here, I have in my layouts folder, I just have this post.html file. And this is the layout that's used for all the blog posts on my website. You can see it's a very simple layout and it's using this wrapper layout as its sort of like parent layout. So the wrapper layout just has like some HTML content. And inside this post layout, uh, we can actually access different variables about our site and about the different pages on our site. So the first variable that we're accessing, uh, and I'm already accessing it down here, is the content variable. And you can use this content variable, and the content variable stores all of the content in the current blog post uh, on your our website. So for example, I have this blog post down here, uh, which is basically just like the default blog post that we get when we create our new site. And I'm able to display all of the content inside this markdown file um, using that content variable. And in addition to the content variable, I can also access other variables. So inside of my layout up here in the front matter, I can define different variables. So for example, I could define like uh, an author variable up here in this layout and I could just say that it's Mike, it's me. And if I wanted to access this variable, I'll just make like a header three or something. I can access it using these open and close curly brackets. And then I can say layout dot and then the name of the variable. So in our case, it's just author. And so now when I refresh my page, you'll notice that the author variable appears here on our layout. So it appears on the page. So you can define as many front matter variables as you want up here in the YAML front matter, and then you can access them down here in the layout. So this is only gonna work for variables that are inside the layout. But you can also access variables that are inside of your actual post. So here we are on our post, and this is just the blog post. Now imagine that over here inside of my layout, I wanted to access the title of the page, right? So this is one of the front matter variables and I wanted to access the title. And so instead of saying this is a post, we could just display the actual title of the page. Well, over here in my post.html page in the layout, I can access the title by doing something similar to what we did with the layout. I can say page.title. And so I'm basically referring to the current page that we're viewing, and then I'm accessing the front matter variable called title. And now when I refresh the page, it says the actual title. So if I was to go here and modify this title, you know, I could just say like new title. This new title will automatically get updated because we're grabbing it from the front matter. You can also access other variables. So for example, maybe instead of defining the author inside of the layout, I wanted to define the author here. So maybe the author would be like Steve or something. Over here in my layout, instead of saying layout.author, I can just say page.author. And now it'll pull the author from the blog post instead of pulling it from the layout up here. So this is how you can access custom front matter variables that are on your pages. You can also, in addition to accessing variables about your page, you can also access variables about your site. So imagine I wanted to come over here to this wrapper layout, and this is the layout that all of my other layouts use. So this post layout uses this wrapper layout as its layout. So maybe in this wrapper layout up here in the title, I would wanna use the title of the website. So here I can say, instead of page.title, I could say site.title. And now this is gonna go over to this config.yaml file, and it's gonna grab this title variable. So you can store, and so in addition to storing page variables in the page front matter, you can also store site level variables in this config.yaml file. And so when I refresh this page, the title should update to your awesome title which it does, right? So that is pulling information from this site.yaml file. So I could also access like the email or the description. So I could come over here and, you know, 
put in like a meta description and just plop in that site description. So that's basically how you can access uh, page variables, layout variables, and site level variables inside of your Jekyll layouts. And over here on my browser, I just wanna point you to this page and I'm over here on the official Jekyll docs and it's just jekyllrb.com forward slash docs forward slash variables. And this is like the official variables page on the docs and it sort of just defines a bunch of different variables that you can use so what I would recommend doing is going over to the docs, taking a look at some of these different variables and basically just seeing how you can use them and how you can access them in order to make your site and in order to make your layouts more powerful. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.